Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to delete all temporary files in Windows 10 with one simple click. It's very easy to do. You can create yourself a batch file. Now you can put in here whatever you like and whatever you want to delete in your batch file. I've just got one here, as you can see. It's got temporary files in here, prefetch files, uh, DLL caches. Also, it's got your windows.old, history, temporary internet files. And you can see on there but a bunch of other stuff here, recent uh, history cookies. And also it's going to delete the Windows Update download folder with all the files that you don't use anymore that are stored in there. It's going to do all those as well. So you can see we've got a Windows.old on here. Now this is a pretty tricky one to delete with a script. You have to sometimes run two passes with the script. Once the permissions have been changed, you only have to do that once. And then you could just run it once every single time. But on the first time you run this, you will have to do it twice. Otherwise, you will get um, access denied errors, as you'll see here. So I'll let this run along, and uh, you can see access file, and it's deleting these files. But when it gets to the windows.old, you'll see it says you do not have permissions to read uh, the contents. And you will need to change those permissions. The script will take care of that and do that for you. But on the first pass, you will start to see some errors and access denied. And that's pretty normal uh, because obviously it's uh, just changing the uh, permissions for all of those areas that need to be uh, deleted. And you can't delete them because you haven't got the permission. So that's basically how that works. So you can see here, access denied is coming up on the first attempt, but don't worry about it. On the second pass, it will remove it. And then any time from there on, you do a Windows update, it will automatically just remove those for you and any other temporary internet files and cache files that you don't want to have on your system that's hogging up uh, system resources and space. So let's have a look here. I'm going to run this again and run this as administrator. And you can see here, it's now having no problems at all. And it's saying success, the file and folder was deleted and it should go through here. Now it does take a bit of time. So you've got to be a bit patient uh, with this type of thing. Now, I know a lot of people may say, why don't you just use, uh, say, CCleaner or one of those other types of tools here? But this is just a way of showing you how to use a batch file to do the job for you. Now, of course, you can add in whatever you like into your batch file. You can even remove uh, the delete windows dot uh, old folder from the script if you wish and uh, just leave it to run and delete all the temporary files and all the cache files which are stored on your computer and sometimes just build up and take up a lot of space. So I'm just going to let this run and finish off. And uh, once we get rid of the windows.old folder because we don't need it anymore, the only time you would need that windows.old folder is if you want to roll back to a previous version of Windows 10. Now, of course, you can make the script as big or as short as you like. You can put in other certain areas on the computer that you want to clean out and remove uh, data from that you don't use and you don't want it building up. And the good thing about this is it does it very, very quickly, as you can see here. Now, of course, the Windows.old folder is a very large folder and it will take a bit of time. That's why this is taking more time than it would do if you was just, say, removing the recent folder, prefetch temps, and other types of uh, cache folders on there. It will remove all of those very, very quickly, uh, whereas the windows.old folder does take a bit more uh, time to remove uh, securely and safely. So I'll speed this process up for you. Now you will get the press any key to continue, and this will then ask you, do you want to remove data from the cat root two and also the software distribution folder? So basically what that's gonna do is remove any data from there and th that will clear all of that out and then we can push uh, continue again and that should then finish off that script so there we go so that's now removed all of this so let's take a look at the this pc and go into the c drive and you can see windows.old has been removed and also temporary files have been removed from the computer as well and if we go into here i'm just going to go into so app data here and you'll see temporary internet files and also prefetch and all those files have been removed from the computer, which means it's freed up a fair bit of space. 
Now the Windows old folder itself will take up a good chunk of data, sometimes over 20 gigs of data can be stored on your PC and taking up valuable space. And if you go into here, you'll see uh, inside the local here, temp folders and temporary internet folders, all this has been removed and removed all data from there as well and prefetch and stuff like that. So it will delete all of that area as well. And you can add more in if you wish, but basically that is it. And the script is right here. You can add more stuff in, pretty simple stuff, nothing too complicated. Again, if you want to remove any of this sort of stuff, it's pretty easy to do. You can just remove the windows.old area out or the uh, catch root two or any other area that you don't want it to run on. You can just delete this out of the script and it'll just uh, remove any sort of other stuff that you add in there. It's that simple. Also hit the thumbs up button on the video. It does help with the algorithm on YouTube and also leave a comment down below with what you think of the script. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.